the pain that my past self went through is present me living in this swaggery because I have a fucking full leg tattoo and now I can say that at 21 years old. Jumbo everyone, welcome or welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience getting my full leg sleeve done in Bali for my 21st birthday. I know, that's really ballsy and a crazy thing to do and I did it. So I'm going to be talking about the experience, the process, getting it done, the healing process as well and just my overall experience, if it was worth it and everything like that. I know I keep talking about Bali content coming soon and it is, please bear with me, okay? I keep saying it. But I did just start my spring semester of school. I now live alone. I have to pay double the bills. I've been working more and just having to budget my money. I'm tired. Your girl feels like she is just doing a lot. Like I said, bear with me. This is kind of like the first part of just like the Bali series in a little bit. So to start off this series, I'm going to be talking about my full leg tattoo because I feel like that's what everybody is interested in. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, to get this started off, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why Bali? And for for me personally, since it was my 21st birthday, I wanted to go all out and go to Bali and I had saved up over $5,000 for this trip. Was it worth it? It was okay, but further in that in another video, we're here to talk about the tattoo experience and I think I say it's okay just because a whole bunch of little stuff just kept adding up and I was like, okay, I'm ready to come home. So a lot of y'all may be thinking, why Bali? I personally wanted to carry on the tradition of getting a tattoo on my birthday. If you didn't know, I got my device alignment on my 20th birthday and then this is like a 21st birthday this is a milestone and I really wanted to go all out for it and I had been researching tattoos being done in Bali and I came across Thomas Manuel and I saw how he got his full leg done in Bali and I was like I might have to do the same thing because that's raw as fuck like to come back from vacation with your whole leg tattooed like yeah and also the thing with me is you know I have my saying pain is temporary swag is forever so I really muscled through the fucking pain and I really did get my whole leg done so a lot of people may be thinking why my full leg like why would I you know pay two thousand dollars to get my full leg tattooed especially in two days back to back and I think it's one here in America at least I'm not really you know too sure about it tattoo artists don't really want to do tattoos back to back and so it kind of like discourages them especially if they don't have the time like it was just I saw the style that they had and they were able to be able to produce a similar style to what I wanted so it was also that also being able to see like the experiences the tattoos the different versatile tattoos that they could do I was like okay this is what I want so I knew that I wanted to get my full leg just because I had been going to the gym for over a year now it was kind of a present to myself on top of that because of me having chronic knee issues the doctors my PT they suggested that I take two weeks off just to see if that helps it didn't I got an MRI my knee is still fucked up and they said there's nothing wrong with my knee so I really don't know at this point I took the two weeks off with being on vacation and then on top of that with getting the tattoo and having to let it heal and really like settle that those are those two weeks were brutal because I'm like all I want to do is go to the gym the gym gives me this utter amount of confidence and not being able to work out was super hard but it was definitely worth it like going back and having everyone like look at my tattoo and compliment at me and all that stuff so it was it was really nice and like I said you know being a gym rat taking those like five to seven days off after getting a tattoo was really hard so I was like you know I might as well just go get my whole leg tattooed because you know I know that I want to be tatted like a motherfucker so it's like I don't want to have to keep taking breaks so it's like why not get this whole section tattooed so then I don't have to worry about it in terms of tattoos in the future and having to take days off and all this other stuff because it's like this was kind of like the perfect period of me being able to take like two weeks off of the gym really rest you know be able to ease back into school and stuff and that's what I did and now going to the gym like I have even more confidence and I think I'm even thicker so I don't know that's just me so the idea that I had why did I have it 
to explain my leg and why I got the tattoo that I did. I really just wanted to get women and femininity on my leg to remind me of who I am. I feel like for the last 20 years of my life, and this is why it was significant of me getting it on my 21st birthday, I had just felt like the past 20 years of my life, I had been living in my masculine. I had always been chasing after people. I would always been just not feeling like a dainty woman and, you know, being taken care of basically. And I feel like with me getting this tattoo, it's just a constant reminder of what I know that I deserve and that my standards are never too high for the right person. Why would I lower my standards for anyone? My thing is, is that getting this, it just reminds me of to just stay in my truth. And also it was kind of like paying homage to my ancestors in a way. We're all connected in some type of way and there's a reason why we're here. I really felt like, especially with getting Africa tattooed on me and covering up the fairy that no longer resonated with me. I know, don't hate me to the person who did it and why I covered it up. I just felt like, you know, it was apprentice level work and every time that I looked at it, I was reminded of my ex because we went and we got that tattoo together and I literally paid for him to get a tattoo. So it's just like, I don't wanna be associated to that memory anymore. Covering it up with something that I do resonate with and something that is always gonna resonate with me no matter how old I get. I just felt like it was the right decision to do. And also it's kind of badass like just having Africa fully stamped on my fucking leg like that. It's also just like one of the easiest ways to cover it up was just blacking it out and doing Africa just because of how big the tattoo was, the placement of it. There wasn't really any point to try and put another tattoo on top of it that you would still be able to see it. I was like, just black the shit out, dead ass, just black it out, like I don't care. So that's what we did and I also feel like the, the top of it, the top of Africa and you know, it's the five women and the sun I feel like it kind of just represents even more because it's like that those figures if you're African like you know like just those little symbols like it's automatically known to be African women so I just felt like it was paying even more homage and then on top of that I I need to let people know that your bitch is African I know a lot of people think like I'm black American and like that's their first assumption and I'm like no I'm Liberian thank you me being proud of where I came from and I will never you know denounce who I am because of somebody else's insecurity like I am a proud Liberian and I love being Liberian the food the culture the people like you know what I mean it's just it's very nice being a part of a culture identity that I can you know relate to and not a lot of people can so it's just I guess marking it on me that like you know I know where I came from the motherland I was bound to get Africa tattooed on me one way or another it was all in divine alignment and when I knew that I needed to get it done and that's what I did so you got Nefertiti on my like right side of my calf area and I got her because she just represents like beauty Beauty, femininity I just feel like like I know what the fuck I want she was a queen the face was just like a picture we found of like an African like woman who was like kind of like a warrior type baddie um we found her on Pinterest and I was like fuck it like you know I resonated with her and I was like when I look at her I look at her as like one of my ancestors who are looking over me which also ties into like her having the onk with the eye of Oris on that also ties in with this eye of Oris right here on my wrist and I just like having things on me that mean protection and I feel like a lot of people they just get tattoos to get it and I get tattoos for like protection because they are blood packs like what you get on your body it matters and that's why like whenever I get tattoos on me I have a story for why I have them and then like so that's why you know my these are like my ancestors basically and then on the back I have Queen Isis and basically what she represents being like the ultimate manifester and her and Nefertiti tied together because they were basically with each other in Egypt and led together and that's why I think it's very significant to have them together on the same leg and on top of that I was doing my research and Queen Isis you know later on after all the trials and tribulations she basically became queen of the universe so what I interpreted that as is that she can manifest anything that she wants and with me I'm like I can manifest anything that I want and also like having her as a reminder bitch you've manifested basically everything that you've wanted thus far who's to say that we can't manifest you know our our dream life why is that unattainable to us so that is why you know I got those three significant figures on me and then on top of that with the Africa and then the women on top then 
then I also got hieroglyphics because to me also like not that I necessarily know what hieroglyphics mean but it's obvious to know like if they have the Ankh in there the Eye of Horus all these other significant representations of what spiritual people interpret as protection symbols now I just knew that to me hieroglyphics mean a language without a language it's for people who like know the drawings know what they mean and on top of that it kind of just like resonated with me because you know I do sign language and it's a visual language and hieroglyphics are visual like it's not like words it's pictures you have to see it so I think that's also why it resonated with me as well and I think it kind of just tied into the whole Africa Egypt you know type of theme that I was going for and really it looks cool as fuck as a background like let's be honest so I think that's another reason why I decided to go for that theme and also it's you know a theme that I can describe to people and like people can really be like damn like that shit's cool as fuck and I can be like thank you what I can say about going to this tattoo shop is that you need to know what you want at least from what I have gauged there's no free handing you need to know exactly what you want you need to find that shit off Pinterest or online and tell them because a lot of the stuff they needed it to be able to you know pull it up and to be able to trace it out so a lot of the stuff is from online it's already pre-drawn and that's what I mean like you need to already have your idea when it comes to going to the shop because there's no free handing there's not really any drawing on an iPad like drawing up a design like I don't see that at least from when I was there I don't know if they do that that is just from my experience so what I have to say to that is just having your idea set in stone this tattoo shop is very much a tiger rose clock watch very cliche like they do tattoos very very good but they're very cliche like the lions and no hate no shade if you get those type of tattoos but I'm just like can we be a little bit more creative when it comes to tattoos I get it if you're a Leo get your lion go ahead but please don't pair it with the pocket watch and the fucking roses please so that's kind of just what I saw and also you need to be set in stone on what you want because they tried to change my mind so many times and I'm like no like I know what I want and with me saying that like I I'm getting femininity on my leg I only wanted women on my leg this is a very male dominated tattoo shop they kept trying to give me cliche ass tattoos and I'm like no I know what I want like they tried to tell me for my leg that the only way to cover it up was to get this ugly ass fucking eagle and I literally was like who the no I was like we can just cover it up with Africa I don't care how big it needs to be we can cover it up with Africa but I'm not getting a fucking I was like I don't for me personally I just don't the only animal that I would really get on me is Louie like he's probably the only animal that I will get tattooed on me because I just don't really resonate with animals on my body like that if that makes sense maybe I'll get like a snake or I don't even know like just I just don't resonate with animals on my body like that. So I think that's also why, like, you know, if I got Louie, it he resonates with me. That's my nigga. So it's like, you know, it wouldn't be really surprising to get him tattooed. So I think just being very set in stone on what you want, because some tattoo artists do like to, you know, change what you want to get. But at the end of the day, it's going on your body for the rest of your life. So you really need to think through this. Like, am I okay 50 years from now having this on my body? And when I look back at this tattoo and my leg tattoo like is it really gonna be hard to explain to people yeah I got Nefertiti when I was 21 years old and I was able to manifest anything that I wanted because I was able to have that mindset at such a young age that's cooler than being like yeah I got a fucking fairy because I just wanted something on like it doesn't resonate with me anymore so that's why I just tell people like would you rather have a tattoo that you're able to like really resonate with and really explain for the rest of your life or be able to be like yeah I just da -da -da. no I'm not doing that anymore like I'm really thinking about the tattoos that I get when I do get them because why not so how much was this tattoo in total I paid two thousand dollars don't come at me I did tip my tattoo artist only a hundred dollars but that's also because tipping isn't very like customary down there I would say and then on top of that I was balling on a budget okay because they had told me that full leg sleeves were 15 to 1800 so I had saved up 2100 just you know in case and whatever I got there and they told me straight up 
up, yeah, it's $2,000 for a full leg. And I was like, what are the deals? I didn't get any deals. So also, that's another thing. Push for the fucking deals because they post on their story every day that they have special deals going on. And I don't really think that's pertaining to money. I don't know that for sure just because I asked and they kind of like laughed over it and didn't really explain the deals to me. So that's where I also kind of felt like I was a tourist kind of getting taken advantage of in a way. So that's kind of it for like the price aspect. Um, they do have a lot of other tattoos ranging from different prices. Um, but since I wanted to get my full leg and go all out, like, yeah, I did spend $2,000 on my leg. Like, that's just what I mean when, you know, this is what's going to be on your body for the rest of your life. So yeah, I did invest in the money to be able to walk around with a bomb ass tattoo now. I had forgotten what the fuck it was like to get a tattoo because fuck that shit hurted. <laughs> On the first day, I did not get any numbing cream because, you know, I thought numbing cream was for pussies. I stand fucking corrected. So the first day, we did my lower leg, and so we did the calf and the shin area. The right side of the shin, cool. The left side of the shin, when he was go going on my fucking shin bone, oh my gosh. I was cussing these bitches out, especially towards the end. The end when my leg was so fucking raw, and we had to do the back of the calf, and at that point, I was so close to I've never tapped out so that's one thing that I won't do when it comes to tattoos I won't tap out but you will hear me ow 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 like a motherfucker so I was owing and then when it got onto the back of my calf that's when I started crying I was like I can't hold it in anymore this genuinely feels like he is taking a fucking knife and slicing my fucking leg I'm like yo how long is this shit gonna take because ain't no fucking way it should feel like this so then after experiencing that that type of pain knowing okay I decided I'm getting numbing cream the next day and numbing cream to be honest that numbing cream was a bit overpriced it was $20 but it was worth it I had to get numbing cream for like the front and the back so I had to pay for two things of numbing cream so that ended up being $40 and that also like with me getting numbing cream that deducted from the tip like I was ready to just give them the money that I had left but because I had to you know survive for the next couple of days I kind of needed to you know live so they got what money they got out of me. That's all I gotta say. So then the second day, I did do numbing cream because it was the knee and the back of the ditch. If you don't know what the ditch is, it's the knee ditch. It's like the crease between your knee. That shit hurts like a bitch. But on some parts, like majority of my leg was numb, but on some parts, it was just, I could feel everything. And so I'm gonna be honest, the back of my knee ditch, like one of the hieroglyphics did not heal properly. And it's kind of like scarring instead which you know I kind of expected which it also makes me a little weary when it comes to getting knee ditch tattoos in the future just because I'm like okay I don't want to hurt myself like I want the tattoos to heal properly and it's just like Fuck. Getting it was worth it. Um, I do think he might have been just a little bit heavy handed just because with me getting the numbing cream on the second day, he wasn't really able to gauge like how deep he was going because I didn't feel it. So it kind of just looks a little bit like the Africa was scarring just a little bit, but it's what my sister said and she's probably just trying to scare me, but she's probably right a little bit. Just because of, you know, he had to cover an old tattoo and I kind of feel like that's where the scarring ended up a little bit because you you do have to tattoo just a little bit deeper when it comes to a cover-up because it's a cover-up so I think that was just like another process that had to happen I guess but I'm satisfied with the results I know that it's still healing and so you know I'm gonna give it a month two months to really gauge and see how it heals but overall I'm very happy with my tattoo I think that the face on Isis could have been a little bit better but that was you know the picture from Pinterest so that's what I mean when know what the fuck you want and don't deviate from it if you know you want that stick with it and don't let anyone talk you out of the tattoo you know that you want unless it's like really fucking stupid and they should sorry so the healing process it was peeling like a bitch i'm currently still in the healing process it was flaking really bad and peeling and i made a, a separate tiktok video on it but the way that i hydrated the tattoo was basically like taking a glob of aquaphor rubbing it together and just pressing it into the tattoo so instead 
instead of like rubbing it to get the moisture I was able to just press it in so then the tattoo wasn't like shifting around it was able to naturally peel I am about two weeks after getting the tattoo and it's not peeling anymore but it, it's still very itchy and dry and so that's where I'm kind of just like you know trying to wait out the process a little bit so February 11th will be like one month since I got it done since that was my birthday and also I have to think of like Bali's on a 14 hour time difference so technically I had like an extra day of healing I guess in terms of when it comes to counting time since like it was my birthday already the next day when it wasn't my birthday here so it's just kind of wonky a little bit the healing process has been a little shit like I said earlier it would really sucked not being able to go to the gym being able to get this tattoo and not have to go to the gym like it really did suck but I think it also boosted my confidence even more in a way when it came to going to the gym because now I have a full leg tattoo and like yes my ass is fat but also damn she has a full leg tattoo like that's badass just me and that's why I will always say pain is temporary swag is forever like now the pain that my past self went through is present me living in this swaggery because I I have a fucking full leg tattoo and now I can say that at 21 years old last but not least was it worth it yes I am very glad that I got this tattoo done I am now a woman with a full leg tattoo and nobody can tell me anything different anyways thank y'all for bearing with me like I said there will be more Bali content coming soon it might just be sprinkled out because your girl is a college student and I am tired and I am working a job paying bills going to school bear with me bear with me I do have a surprise coming for black history month bear with me with that too as well anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye y'all